It was late on October 27, 1929, in his Princeton University lab when Albert Einstein, nearing exhaustion, believed he was close to a unified field theory. He was testing a radical new power source for his experimental apparatus, convinced it held the key, unaware of a faulty capacitor rapidly overheating inside. Suddenly, the capacitor blew with a deafening crack, sending a violent electrical discharge across the lab, directly towards where Einstein stood. Einstein instinctively dove to the side, a massive electrical current arcing just inches from his head, narrowly missing what would have been certain electrocution. He stood up, trembling slightly, surveying the wreckage of his apparatus, realizing the immense power he had just faced and survived. A new concept, born from the raw energy of the near-fatal incident, ignited in his mind. He furiously began sketching equations that radically redefined his understanding of energy transfer. Weeks later, Professor Oppenheimer and other colleagues expressed deep skepticism about his revised theories, finding them too radical and unsubstantiated. Ignoring the doubt, Einstein dedicated the next six months to rigorously refining his new framework, working in isolated bursts of intense concentration. By April 1930, he publicly unveiled his unified field theory of energy fluctuations, which shockingly accounted for phenomena previously considered impossible. That near-death experience, an electrical surge on a dark October night, fundamentally reshaped Einstein's work and ultimately changed the course of physics forever.